my name is Ashley and I'm a mom of two little girls. I have a four-year-old named Kylie and I have a two-year-old named Mia. So for today's video, we're going to be touching on a very classic Montessori activity that is also incredibly timely given the current status of our global health. So from one busy parent to another, today we're gonna to be chatting all about the Montessori hand washing lesson. So quite recently, our family was gifted a Montessori hand washing station from Manine Montessori. And to say that my girls are now obsessed with washing their hands might even be a bit of an understatement. Now, like most other kids, my girls love to play with water. So I've never had a struggle trying to get them to wash their hands because it's a total sensory experience for them between the running water and the soap and the bubbles and the way it feels and the sounds, you know, everything. It's just such an engaging experience for them. So they've always loved to wash their hands, but to have the hand washing station down at their level, that has been a complete game changer. So I've been really excited to share it with you guys and it got me thinking about the fact that hand washing is a very classic Montessori activity that you'll find in Montessori classrooms as well as Montessori homes and hopefully everybody's homes for the purposes of good health and hygiene. But from the Montessori perspective, even teaching our youngest toddlers how to wash their hands independently is about so much more than just the hand washing itself. I mean, yes, it's good that their hands are getting clean because often little hands get dirty very quickly, but it does does really go beyond just the practical part of it. What we're actually doing when we help our young children learn how to wash their own hands is we're teaching them about independence, about being able to do these things for themselves, and also about movement and controlling those movements so that they can perform the sequence of steps that they need to in the proper order, and also about focus and concentration. And then of course, once they've mastered the entire cycle of activity from the beginning to the end of washing their own hands, they have this deep inner sense of accomplishment that they can do it by themselves. So as far as presenting the hand washing lesson to your child for the very first time, Time. All you really need are just a few simple materials that you probably already have on hand. First, you need a source of water and then a pitcher or something to hold that water. You also need a large bowl, some soap, and a hand towel. Now, when you present the lesson to your child, it's important that you slow down and you really try to minimize your talking. You want your child to focus on watching your hands and watching exactly what it is that you're doing with the materials so that they can really focus in on those different steps and organize them in their own minds so that when it's their turn, they have a very clear understanding of exactly what they're supposed to do in what order with each of the materials. Now, the very last step of the lesson, this is actually part of it, is your child remembering that they need to get rid of the dirty water that's in the bowl. And you should show them exactly where it is that you want them to dump the water. So this could be a sink if they have a way to reach the sink, but it can also just be something as simple as a big bucket that you keep in one particular area that your child knows that is where the dirty water goes. This way you really only have to empty the bucket every so often once it gets full, but how you wanna do that is entirely up to you. Now I would recommend that you introduce the lesson to your child in whatever location Location you're planning for your child to use going forward. So it's okay to set this up as like a single isolated activity on a table somewhere if you'd like, but if you really want it to be practical and something that your child can eventually do without your help, then it's better to just start as you intend to go on. So if you'd like your child to be able to wash their hands at the bathroom sink, then you would need to actually present the lesson to your child in the bathroom at that sink using the same step stool that they're already going to be using, the same soap, the same hand towel, whatever your setup is. Or if you have the space in your home for a child-sized washing station, I honestly could not recommend it enough to you guys because my girls, like I said, are obsessed. When we first set it up and the girls had their first go at using it, my two-year-old was so beyond excited. I have never seen her this excited about one single piece of furniture in our home, but she literally just stood there and couldn't contain herself. And she said to me, my own sink, my own sink, and just kept repeating it over and over again. And then of course dove right into washing your hands about 30 times in a row. So again, the one you see my girls using here was gifted to us by Manine Montessori. They're a small company based in Belgium, actually single handedly run by a Montessori mom. She crafts beautiful wooden furniture and materials for babies, toddlers, preschoolers, for every area of your home, from the bathroom to the kitchen, to the bedroom, even to your garden outside, as well as your child's playroom. If you are interested in learning more about Manine Montessori, I will put a link to her shop in the description box down below. And she was so incredibly generous to offer my viewers a special 10% off discount. 
So if you check out her shop and you see something that you like, you can use my code HAFA10 to get an extra 10% off of your total purchase now through June 30th. All right, friends, so that is all I have to share with you today about the Montessori hand washing lesson. If there is anything that you would like to add to the discussion, please share that with us in the comments down below. If you are interested in learning more about doing Montessori at home with your children or positive discipline parenting, I also offer a couple of e-courses that walk you through it step by step. So I'll be sure to leave a link to that in the description box down below as well. And just in case you are new to my channel, I also wanted to let you know that this video is part of a much larger series on this YouTube channel called Montessori at Home, which is aimed at providing practical tips and advice for busy parents like you and I for implementing Montessori at home with our children. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in watching more of, then you might consider subscribing to my channel. This way you don't miss a new video because I do upload a new one just like this one every single week. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you next time. Bye.